Hello everyone and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. Now we have the art supplies, my mechanical pencil, and my bristol board. Let's get to it. Today, we are going to draw the Little Mermaid, that classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale that was later turned into a Disney classic animation movie. Essentially, it's a mermaid, so it's half woman and half fish so it's it's a little tricky because the leg part is always tricky because it's a fish you know but at the same time you want to give it that balance so with this pose i've already had a image in mind where is the the mermaid the little mermaid is kind of leaning forward uh using the fork as a uh, uh as a as a comb so the key is to get the tilt of the head right uh, and get the, the, the face right too uh, because you want it to uh, give it that certain cuteness. So as I do all my drawings, I start with the head first and the face. Um, I, I really like to kind of like really focus on the face here, especially when it comes to women. I actually draw, enjoy drawing women's face. And here I am, uh, I got the, the basic pose down, um, the tilt of the head down, and now I'm just kind of fiddling around with uh, the hair. So uh, the, uh, the Disney version had that, she had this kind of this, kind of like the swoop of hair, um, kind of like almost like a combed, uh, parted in the side with the hair kind of combed over. Uh, that is a classic, um, uh, her signature look in The Little Mermaid. And um, here I'm drawing the hand uh, where she is holding the fork. Um, it's actually uh, not that difficult to draw the hand. I mean, the, the key is, um, especially when, when you're drawing women, you don't want to draw the hand too big because it gives that that very masculine look about it so you want to keep the hands kind of slim and uh and uh, graceful um you don't want to give her man hands and here i am trying to figure out uh the other uh hand where she is kind of like is pulling her hair out a little bit and pulling her hair to to comb it um, so this is a part, it's a tricky part, the, the, the fish part, because you kind of want to give her the, the, the illusion that she has, um, somewhat, you know, like, like, like a leg portion, because you don't want to, you don't want to make it too long, uh, because it's going to make it, make her look like a, a serpent. Um, uh, but also you don't want to make it too short because it'll just look odd. So the key is to make a, uh, Make sure the proportion's right. And um, that's the tricky part. And also, you notice that I kind of uh, carry the, the center line all the way down just to keep the, to give it the balance. Um, so here I am drawing the, the shoulder uh, and her forearm and all that. And as you see in my other videos, I actually draw and redraw the same line over and over again. Um, it's just a habit of mine. I, it's just, I draw multiple lines until I find a true line. Um, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, explain, but I don't know. Like once you draw in the, the line, eventually, uh, I guess, the... The, the 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 true real line will present itself um and here i am uh, drawing her hair again that classic uh fair, that very distinct uh, little mermaid hair and her eyes uh, so she has these beautiful eyes and uh, again just to give it that really nice girl next door kind of look about her you know you don't want to make her a uh you know, like this, you know, like a sex bomb. I just want to give her, you know, a very nice, pretty girl next door look about her. 
And again, so I've erased the original hand because it was the fingers were a little too thick. And she had like these big sausage fingers. Uh, and then here I am drawing the, the fork. Again, the fork is a little bit bigger than your average fork because, you know, I wanted, you know, this took some artistic license and just to make it a little bigger so people can see it better. And then, and then just the hair. The hair is like, uh, just think of a hair as like a, like almost like a, like a free flowing uh, cloth. So it kind of cascades down over her shoulder. Uh, give it, you know, a lot, a lot of really nice waves and, you know, uh, the wavy kind of line to it. Um, and then here I am drawing her, the, the fishtail. Again, the fishtail was fairly easy because it's just, um, it's just, it's like a V shape. And then, you know, and then you just make the, the fin area kind of very wavy as, it, as if it's in the wave. And here I am, uh, um, really uh, start doing the scale of the Little Mermaid, and just kind of, uh, just kind of great toning it a little bit, just to kind of give it that extra uh, contrast to all the line work. And here she's sitting on this very um, this underground rock, her perch, and I'm drawing all these little mollusk and all these clams and um, barnacles you know on the rock to give it that extra uh, watery look and then here I am really uh, focusing on the her the the fish half of their of her anatomy again trying to kind of rubbing rubbing in the uh, the graphite and then start really kind of adding to the fish scale so you notice that I kind of kept that middle part not, you know, light, uh, kind of light. So it, it, that, uh, that shows a highlight uh, since that area is like a curved surface. So the surface, the, the outermost surface, the, the, the curve outward most, that's where you put the highlight. And drawing more fish scales. And um, here I am just kind of like adding more texture to her, to her the, the rocky perch that she's sitting on. And, um, and just at this point, I'm just like texturing and uh, just, just having fun, giving it that contrast uh, from her human half to the fish half. And I'm actually adding more texture to the rocks and all that. I, I actually noticed that, um, especially when I ink, I really get lost when I start texturing, when I start cross-hatching. It's, it's just mindless and it's just very sooth soothing for me. It just kind of relaxes me. And, um, and basically erasing some of the hair to give it that extra highlight in the curls. So I mean, it's essentially it's a uh, it's a girl sitting and combing her hair. That was the initial image I have, and um, and, and you just kind of follow through it, just adding little fish to uh, to illustrate that she is underwater, and the air bubbles and all that. And again, I mean, so like. When it comes to drawing anything, especially women, uh, you should really focus on the, the face and the hair, you know, uh, and, and just the overall body language. Uh, that really is the key to drawing women. Oh, yeah, and, and then she had that little, I'm not sure if it was a starfish or a little sea flower, ocean flower that she had in her hair. So kind of give it that whole um, Hawaiian Pacific Island look, you know. So there I am, uh, you know, reinforcing the seaweed and uh, and adding a little more texture to the rock. So this actually turned out a lot better than I thought. Um, uh, especially, it's hard to translate cartoon characters into kind of like a realistic style. But here it is, the Little Mermaid.